Landly by Blockchain. Landly by Blockchain is a continuous list of land transaction records for a specific parcel of land. The land transaction information constitutes a complete block, which is then linked like a chain to a different block containing another set of land transaction details. These blocks are then secured using special and unbreakable codes, a process known as cryptography. The joined blocks are then posted to several independent computers within the network where storage of information occurs. The independent computers operate on a consensus model ensuring all the participants of the network have the same information at any given time. To get a better understanding of this concept, let's look at how land ownership was managed in Kenya for the last 100 years in three different timelines, pre-colonial, post-colonial and the blockchain era. Pre-colonial. During the pre-colonial era, our forefathers relied heavily on their memory of past events regarding land matters. Each village had a set of elders who would serve as arbitrators of land disputes based on collective memory, which was common knowledge for all the elders. The memory of these elders served as a permanent mental ledger of land ownership. It is amazing how such sensitive information could easily be reproduced by any of these elders at any time with exceptional accuracy. It was expected that all the elders would have identical knowledge about a particular land transaction. Whenever someone announced an intention to purchase land in the village, all the elders would update their records about the land purchased once the deal was approved. Because all the elders maintained the same land records in their memory, the absence of one elder could not hinder a land transaction from taking place. The other elders would simply facilitate the process. At the end of the transaction, the elders would update their records and notify the absent elder to update their mental records. This method worked very well and there were hardly any issues of land fraud in the community. If the elders relied on one particular individual to be the record keeper of all land transactions, many land deals would be put on hold in the absence of the central record keeper. It would also be very easy to compromise such an individual to change the land records in favor of someone else. As rudimentary as it looks, this method is an analog version of the concept of a decentralized ledger as demonstrated in the blockchain technology. In and post-colonial, colonization introduced a new method of recording land transactions. The transactions were controlled and validated from a central authority overseen by specific government officials. Such records are maintained in a special ledger called the green card. A green card is a highly secure document maintained under lock and key by the land registry. The green cards hold original records of all land transactions dating from the year 1963. This new method replaced the traditional way of managing land records. It introduced the concept of hard evidence in form of paper records like title deeds, land searches, land consents for transfer ETC. Although more efficient, the process made it easier for land corruption to grow deep roots in the land registry system since only one person was responsible for the record keeping. The opinion of others did not matter as long as the central records could show a proof of an entry. Sadly, this is the reason why our land registry systems have been riddled with scandals.